What is going on today guys, Tom Cat here, and today I am bringing you guys some more GTA 5. Now, continuing on with the theme of the new business DLC, um, they have updated the vehicles that you can get in online multiplayer, and have included the Rancher XL, which is now basically the, one of the biggest uh, competitors to the Sand King, as far as off-roading goes, because this thing is an all-wheel drive beast, especially when you put uh, off-road tires on it, and I got my buddy Mr. Devil in here, and he recently showed me a really cool off-roading spot, and hopefully he can uh, remember where it is so we can actually get to it. So, um, I have a waypoint marked on my map, but he's going to lead. Or with that... <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting to actually hear a voice rather than <laughs> rather than classical music out of the out of your vehicle's horn, but and I actually recently bought one of those horns too. They have the they updated a lot of the horns that you can get, and you can get these crazy horns whoa, now. Whoa, whoa. Did you see those flatbed tow what? trucks? Uh, yes. I there's like many of them coming this way, and in fact, there's one right there. Did you just actually hit that guy, or was it, or was it lag? Uh, it was Ow! Lag. I did. You did. It's not messed up though. It's just like a little bit of like cosmetically messed up. <clears throat> well, I think I found another challenge to go up Mount Chelyad with. <laughs> I don't know if that thing can actually make it up there though. You know what the best, dude? Yeah, dude, we totally should at some point. We should definitely sometime put a vehicle on the back of one of those. You're so far ahead. Jeez, let me catch up. Oh, I just honked my horn in this tunnel, and the guy's like, what the Christ? <laughs> I should actually, I should honk my horn. Most epic horn ever. Yes, most epic horn ever award goes to me. We are a rolling symphony. Somewhat. <laughs> Somewhat a rolling symphony anyway. And we just passed an F-type. Well, F-type slash SLS, but yeah, I mean, mine is like, mine is fully turboed, yours isn't. Which is why... <laughs> Which is why I keep having to let off, otherwise I just fly past you. How far upgraded is your engine? Level 1. <laughs> Level 1? <laughs> yeah, I'm fully upgraded with a turbo. You better lead. Yeah, you better lead for this part, because I don't know where I'm going from here on out. I have no idea where I'm going. You're the one that knows this spot. Oh, jeez. That's not breakable. I I saw you going for that. Wow. Okay, G-Wagon. I thought it was wood. Yeah, uh, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, there's an open spot over here. Where? Oh, right there. Okay. Is this the way we came in last time? I don't think it was. It's still the general area. Well, yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like some some of the areas some of the areas is a good way to get into them and a bad way to get into them. Especially, there's no train coming, right? Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, where did we go from here? Seriously, though. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, let's just. <laughs> if you end up getting turned around after I so rudely rammed into your car, what the heck? Okay, controller controller's gone. Controller disconnected. Good job. Let me just go up here and get a bearing on where we are, because the core is... Power! Right. Yes! Speed and power. Solves everything. Ooh, this looks interesting. I don't think we actually came to this section before, did we? Oh, yeah, because the quarry's over here. Yeah, well, most of these sections are completely new to me. I mean, I've never really explored any of these sections at all. Mr. Devil's been here before, but I haven't. Yeah, and I was really surprised to see... I was surprised to see that there were, like, so many cool trails over here, seeing that I had... I generally just... Whenever I'm going to off-road, like, I generally just head for Mount Chiliad, but now that I know that these areas are here, I'll probably spend a lot more time here because they're actually really cool areas. 
Yeah, there's a bunch of rock crawling spots too. Yeah, I, I'm still, I'm really frustrated that I need to win one more race in order to unlock level four engine upgrades, and I feel like if I had, if I was, if I had that that level four, I'd be able to go straight up that maybe. Um, I'll have to come back and test it. Um, but Mr. Devil didn't want to do one more race, which is why I don't have level four engine upgrades. <laughs> Oh, there we go, made it. How did you... Where did you come from? How did you get up here? You were, like, right next to me. You were you were way down the bo at the bottom of the freaking mountain. Ugh. I do like the desert setting of these mountains, though, like, compared to the, compared to the setting of Mount Chiliad and a lot of the other mountains. And even though they're, even though these aren't quite as tall as Mount Chiliad, they're still not, you know, they're not tiny little hills. They're full, you know, full-fledged mountains. They're pretty crazy. And if we can, if we can find that jump that we found last time, there was an actual jump that was really, really cool, and I don't remember where it was. Do you? It wasn't that one, because <laughs> that one doesn't go any. Oh, I see. It was that one. It was just that peak back there. I see. Okay. Now, where was the rock crawling bit, though? I'm trying to remember. Well, this is one of them, I guess, if you go up it the other way. Wait a minute. This is one... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of them, I think. Go to the other side of this factory and we'll be good. There it is. Uh, you've lost some, uh, bits. <laughs> you've lost some bits and pieces of your vehicle. It'll buff out. Well, technically, you'd have to. It would have to buff in because they're already out. There's the spot. Yeah, neither one of us could get up that last time, and I'm gonna give it a shot again. But last time, I could not give it a. Sh I could not get up it. Oh, it's a different spot. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> never mind then. No, I remember this spot. This is the one that I couldn't get up. This is the one that I had, ex like, an extreme amount of trouble with. Uh, no, it's not forced. This isn't the one. Oh. Oh, okay. All the same. Oh, crap. I've lost... I just noticed I've lost my door. My rear door, anyway. Come on, power! Yes, nearly! Oh, nearly there! Yes! We kind of took the... Kind of took the side. I didn't hit it straight on, but still, it still worked. <clears throat> You've received two grand for good behavior. Keep it up. <laughs> nice. It's not a bad view either. Still can't afford the uh, <laughs> new cars. Well, you mean I, they? Uh, you will be able to. Just trying to get up some speed. Trying to actually be able to stay up on this up, up on this ridge while maintaining speed, which is very very difficult sometimes, because it's so steep and you just slide. You just slide. There's no no way around it. You just slide. Come on. Yes, it got traction. Yes. Just kind of cruising my way up and yeah. Yeah, Mr. Double just cruises all the time. Me, on the other hand. I try to solve things with speed and power, <laughs> and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, time for some motivation music. Well, I'm not there yet, so I, I can't hear the- I can't hear it. Plus, I have some of my own. By the way, Forrest, this is Yes! The oh, this is the- yeah, this is the horrible spot that I had a ton of trouble with. Uh... There were a couple of times where I nearly made it, and I think there were a couple of times where Devil nearly made it too, but it is really, really tricky. I should definitely come back here, like, in my... Oh, nearly! That was really close. I should definitely bring the Sand King back here. Um, are you unstuck now? <laughs> I'll bring the Sand King back here sometime just to see um, how that does. I'm sure it could be done in a dirt bike or a quad, but what, what were you saying? Yeah, I'm not. I'm still stuck. I'll help you, buddy. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Maybe. There you go. It'd be funny if you got stuck too. 
Yeah, yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. No way was I gonna let that happen. Absolutely not. Oh crap, I'm- yeah, I'm pretty much stuck now. There you go, there you go. I was really worried for a second that I was legitimately completely stuck. Let me try this side, because I never try going up this side. Come on! Yes! Just pull! Do what? But I kind of really want to explore that cavern. Oh, that one? Alright. I actually did make it to the top, though. I mean, I didn't hit it straight on, but I made it to the top. How close are you? Oh, Not very close. Maybe. A little halfway up. Power! What's up? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Yeah. There's, like, just a ton of car parts down here at the bottom of the hill. I think we're at the wrong spot. Let me figure out where it's at. Yeah, I have no idea where you're going. I have absolutely no idea where you're going. I'm just following you. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're far away from that. Uh, that well, could be a good off-road run. Uh, we're about two miles away from it. <laughs> That's not bad. Especially if we go up over our obstacles and not around them. Uh, later. <laughs> Turbo power, later. Oh, uh, laugh when you get wrapped around a tree. Except for the fact that I have no idea where I'm going, so I have to wait for you. Whoa, that's- Whoa, that's a legit jump! Oh no, I'm- Dang it, I spun, I spun, and I'm going down the mountain. No, never mind, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I think. As long as I can get back up to the ridge, I'll be good. What the heck? Were you- were you falling, or were you actually, like, legitimately crawling along that edge? I kind of jumped and then caught myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cause I was like, there's no way- Whoa! Okay, that's kind of steep. Just a little bit. Don't flip it, don't flip it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, I didn't go sideways whatsoever. Yeah, I went completely sideways. I went 90 degrees. Okay, Forrest, uh, I think this spot will be good enough to test our ranchers. Where are- wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. Whoa, that's interesting. Not here. Not here. In the mountain next to us. Here, right. Whoa, I just saw that. That's awesome, and I'm rolling down the- I'm rolling, I'm rolling. This actually puts me in a good spot, though, because we can just start right here. Well, you can. Well, come down here. It's not that difficult. I'm all the way. I'm already over here. Well, I'm gonna try and tackle this first crawling obstacle. Come on! Oh, jeez. Hook up. It's not gonna hook. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. This is near vertical, dude. I don't know if this is possible for this thing. This is seriously near vertical. If not completely vertical. I'm gonna have to go around these. There's no other way. There's no other way to do it. I can just there we go, hook up and get some traction. Come on, come on, come on. Nearly, nearly, nearly there. Come on. Yes. Nearly there. Now where are you? See that's what I wanna know. Where are you at this point? I'm at a different part of that little rock crawling spot. Wait a minute, I think I found the, I found the cove. Yeah, you can just go ahead and give them a little insight on that. Right and I'm there. trying not to roll it down the hill. And I, yeah, that, that should be the right spot. I think it is. If it, Whoa, that's a lot of air. And, I mean, I'm not sure how many... This isn't the right cove. I've gone to the wrong place. <laughs> I've gone to the wrong yeah, place. Yeah. Yeah, forced. We're not even close to it. Don't drown. Okay. I was like, don't drown the rancher. Please do not drown it. Although this is a cool little cove that I've never actually been to before. 
Don't what die. You're missing, out on this. you're missing out on this amazing view. No! It died. Wow, it died. Okay. I didn't want to finish it like that. I really did not want to finish it like that. But if you guys... I'll come down and pick you up. If you guys enjoyed uh, this this uh, this first off-road testing uh, with the, the Rancher XL, don't forget to leave us a like. Tell us in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to, our, to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.